In his new book, fired FBI Director James Comey writes about his first meeting with President-elect Donald Trump days before Trump was sworn in, in which he and other intelligence chiefs briefed Mr. Trump about Russian interference in the 2016 election. Comey says the president-elect did not ask any questions about Russia's threat to America's democracy or how to stop future attacks. Our next guest was present for part of that meeting, former director of national intelligence and CNN national security analyst James Clapper. Director Clapper, great to have you here this morning. It will be very interesting to bounce off J uh, James Comey's impressions that he shares in the book with yours since you were there for part of these things. The first one I want to bring up is the moment when you all were briefing President Obama about some of the things in the Russian dossier. Let me read this. Uh, Obama turned his head to the left and looked directly at me. He raised and lowered both of his eyebrows with emphasis and then looked away. To my mind, his Groucho Marx eyebrow raise was both subtle humor and an expression of concern. It was almost as if he were saying, good luck with that. Do you remember those moments? Uh, I do, yes. Uh, as it turns out, the uh, previous uh, Tuesday, January 4th, uh, I was in the Oval, uh, and in fact, as we were walking in, Susan Rice, the National Security Advisor, said, uh, say, could you uh, give uh, President Obama uh, a little run-through on the, on the dossier? And I kind of gulped because uh, I wasn't actually prepared to do that, so I gave him sort of a cursory review of it. And uh, I thought the pres President Obama's reaction was very similar to, to what Jim described in our subsequent meeting when, uh, and I say our, this was Jim, Comey, uh, John Brennan, then director of the Central Intelligence Agency, and Admiral Mike Rogers, who was then and still is the director of NSA. That meeting came later. In my meeting, uh, the president didn't say anything, he just kind of rolled his eyes. And uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, body language, facial expressions uh, con con uh, conveyed volumes and uh, that. So his reaction to my brief uh, preliminary, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> coming attractions mm -hmm. was very con consistent with what Jim described in our subsequent meeting. Director Clapper, there's so much in this book. I mean, there's so, it's such a commentary on President Trump. It's a commentary on how James Comey thinks President Trump feels about the um, justice system. And there's all sorts of what some might call some petty details in here. There's some settling of scores. What do you think about James Comey having written this book? Well, I think it above all is a truthful uh, portrayal of how uh, of you know Jim's observations, his his feelings, and uh, and what uh, what occurred. Uh, you know people can take issue with uh, decisions that Jim made and, and and things he did, but in my view, <clears throat> knowing Jim as I do, I think whatever he did, he did it for what he felt were the best reasons, uh, and were in the best interest of the country. Uh, and of course, I'm uh, kind of comparing notes here because I've got a book coming out next month which uh, also talks about some of the same events, and I'm sure that uh, uh, the same accusations uh, will, are going to be uh, levied at me as well. Do you include things about the president's appearance? I'll read a passage. Hold on one second from James Comey's new book. His face appeared slightly orange with bright white half moons under his eyes, where I assumed he placed small tanning goggles and impressively quaffed bright blonde hair, which upon close inspection looked to be all his. Do you have details like that in your book? Uh, no, I don't, Allison. Uh, maybe I should have. I don't know. But uh, no, that's, I don't get that uh, uh, specific, although uh, I don't agree with I don't disagree with any of, of the description, but I, I didn't include that kind yeah. of uh, I mean, I, I, the, the point is, the reason I ask is because James Comey was always depicted as this career prosecutor, serious man, straight shooter. And so is this the, the James Comey that you know? to include some of the more salacious details in this book? Well, uh, Jim didn't uh, generate the salacious details, uh, and, and so he chose to include, uh, you know, some pretty specific graphic details about uh, his impressions of uh, President Trump. Well, that's uh, the nature of those kind of books. Uh, so I, I don't uh, I don't fault him for it. Uh, I just, in my case, chose not to include details like that. 
Um, when is the last time that you spoke to uh, James Comey, and what did he tell you about the coming onslaught connected to the book? Well, we didn't. Uh, when last we uh, were in contact was uh, 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 informal dinner that uh, John Brennan and his wife and uh, the Comeys and my wife and me had. We, we uh, refer to it as the reunion of the Nazis, I guess. Why is that? Uh, well, that's the uh, way uh, President, uh, pre then President elect Trump uh, characterized us uh, after that 6th January briefing in, in his news conference on the 11th of January which is what, of course, uh, occasioned my call to him, uh, I, which I did more just to defend the men and women of the intelligence community than anything else. So we, uh, as I say, we referred to it as the reunion of the Nazis. Wow. I mean, I, I but think when was that? We all, when when we, did you all have this informal dinner? Oh, it was about three or four weeks ago. And I think uh, we clearly, and certainly Jim, understood that uh, there was going to be a firestorm uh, in terms of, of reacting to the book. Of course, we're all having a discussion about the book, and at least for my part, I haven't read read it. Uh, all I've, I'm aware of is excerpts that have been reported in, in the media. But I, there's going to we knew there'd be high interest in it, and um, you know this is a period of of great controversy, uh, very politically charged, and however you describe it is going to evoke controversy. And I expect uh, there'll be uh, criticisms of uh, what I said, too, when, uh, when my book comes out next Well, why month. don't you give us a preview? How are you going to trump this one, so to speak? What are some juicy tidbits in your book? <laughs> well, mine is a uh, longer time span. Uh, it goes back uh, over my 50 years uh, in intelligence. And so I discuss uh, my take on... Uh, Edward Snowden and his aftermath and the aftermath of what he did and uh, Benghazi uh, talk about that and I guess you know from the, sort of the government's perspective so it's a, a broader uh, time span than than uh, just f focusing on uh, uh, although I do speak of course to uh, the election mm -hmm. and uh, the result and the aftermath which uh, to be honest is kind of what motivated me to to write a book, and I, I hadn't planned to do that until until all that happened. Mm. Well, that sounds like it will be fascinating. Obviously, we will have you back on to help dissect your book when it comes out. Uh, Director Thank you. Clapper, thanks so much for talking to us. Thanks, week. Allison. Okay, Chris.